What's up guys, it's Gabby with Long Live Vintage here. I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. I have another vintage haul for you guys, so if you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so in the last video I had maybe about 15 pieces, maybe 16, and so I think I have about the same amount here, maybe a little bit more. Um, I threw in a little accessories, belts and bags and things like that and other things that I found. Um, I also have a lot of pieces that you can easily transition into the fall and winter months. So let's get started. The first piece I have is this white blouse with flowers on it and this blue confetti, confetti like pattern. Um, and the last video I had a green polka dot, well a white and green polka dot shirt and it was made similar, it's lightweight, button down. Um, you can layer these up when it gets closer to those fall and winter months. So I just like that for that reason. Um, you can wear these with high waist jeans, you can wear them with shorts, you can tie them up in the front similar to how I have my blouse tied up. Um, and they're just cute pieces that you can just easily throw on. You don't have to really think about styling it too much, maybe throw a necklace on and call it a day. The next one is is very 90s to me, um, but I like it. When you see it, you might say, oh, what, what would I do with that? How would I wear it? But this would look really cute with a pair of leggings, black leggings, maybe um, cream leggings, if you can pull them off um, and like tucked in and kind of blouse it out. Or you could layer it as well. Um, but this has like this, I guess like tribal art on it. Um, brown and cream. It's just a simple tight style blouse, but it's very cute um, depending on how you style it. I got a couple of vests. I really like vests because you can wear them in the warmer months. Um, with maybe like a short sleeve shirt or something like that. But then you could also transition them into fall. You're gonna hear me say that a couple of times throughout this video just because I wanna give you guys, I want you guys to see, picture these items on you. Um, and in the previous video, I, if I was able to try the item on so that you guys can see it on a body, then I'll do so and insert them along the way. Okay, so this super cute vest, um, it has these burgundy and black and white stripes. And then it has like that gold chain pattern. I had a blazer like this I sold on the shop um, maybe a year ago. Um, but this one, it's oversized. So you could wear it if you're about my size or if, even if you're smaller, um, you can wear it oversized. So you can wear it either true to size or if you're smaller, wear it oversized, but super cute. The next one is another vest. It's black and white. I like this because if you can hear it a little bit, okay, man. but um, it's black and white and it has these um, strings hanging off of it. At first I thought it was just strings hanging off, but I think you can actually, if you want, tie it across. So you might be able to get away with this as a shirt. Um, or if you prefer to layer, you could put, you know, like a short sleeve shirt on with it. If it's the cooler months, put a long sleeve black shirt, um, maybe like a turtleneck that might look cute with it. Um, maybe even like a jumpsuit might look really cute with this, like a black jumpsuit. See, see how that looks. Um, so yeah, just this simple pattern that it has on there, but it's cute nonetheless. The next item is this denim jacket. Everybody knows denim jean is, is classic, it's timeless. Um, people have been rocking denim for forever. Um, but I had a jacket that was just like this. It may have even been like the same brand. It was just a little smaller. 
and it was um, like a royal blue, royal blue color, but it had these same like vomited uh, gold beads on here. And it was zipper and quilted in the front. It looked just like this. Um, but this one is just a little bit bigger. So just like with anything, wear it oversized or wear it true to size. Uh, one tip I want to give you guys if you are out thrifting yourselves. Um, I gave you a few tips in the last video. So I feel like it's my duty to continue to provide you with these tips. If you know what you want. Go into the store if you're going into a thrift store. Make sure you make a list of things that you are looking for. If you know you want a lime green gleam, can I talk? A lime green blazer, go in there with your list. I want a lime green blazer. I want black pants. I want, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that. Because the thrift store can be a little overwhelming, especially depending on what type of thrift store you go to. Um, I don't always get my stuff from the thrift store, um, but that is just a tip for you guys if you are, you know, out and about searching for things. Um, so yeah, this next piece is I want to say this might be a handmade. It's not handmade because um, it has the size in there, but um, it may be. It doesn't have the material on there, but it seems like it's like a linen material. It is, you know, very colorful, has these blues, greens, yellows all throughout the blazer. Can be worn oversized, can be worn true to size. A um, couple more blazers. This one, I don't know. This one reminds me of like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be starring on New Jack City. Maybe some of you know what that is. Maybe I'm showing my age, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so this is just a graphic print or abstract print. Um, it's one button closure. It's got the pockets in the front. It's lightweight, so it's cool for the summertime. If you wanna wear this with like some short shorts and a tank, that would be really cute. <clears throat> this next one is a blazer as well. Uh, colorful. It's got built-in shoulder pads, which sometimes I like because with some of the shoulder pads, they may shift around a little bit and then you just end up cutting them out. Um, but with this one, and shoulder pads are good. I want to say that because it provides structure to a blazer. Um, and I think with this material, I think that's good to have that type of structure with this blazer. But I like this blazer. It's kind of got these like paint brush strokes in it. Some type of pattern going on. It's really cool. It's got this aqua pink rose gold situation going on. This one actually has one button as well. And I think these are faux pockets. No, these are real pockets. So it's got real pockets in the front. So this is really cute too. Okay. I couldn't pass this up. Um, I have a sequin problem. <laughs> Anytime I see anything that's sequin, I feel like I have to pick it up. Um, just because you don't always come across sequins that are in really good condition. I had this beautiful sequin jacket on, on the site maybe around Christmas time. Yeah, about Christmas time, New Year's. It would have been perfect for like a New Year's outfit, but it was in perfect condition. It was dead stock, which dead stock just means that it still had the tags on it. So it was awesome. So whoever got that blazer, kudos to you because that was a beautiful blazer. And I probably would have kept it myself if it was my size. So this one is a beautiful sequin cardigan, blazer, however you want to look at it. Um, most of the beaded detailing is still on here. It says a small, but it looks like it, it can fit like up to a medium. Um, but it's got these little, I don't really know what these are. It's like little chains, maybe little purses or something hanging out, or tags. 
sequin tags, I guess. I don't know. Hanging off of this. But it's really pretty. Nice statement piece. So. The next one is I was going left, right. Should I get this? Should I not? Because it's a two-piece. And you don't always want to wear like two pieces together depending on how they look. But... I decided to get this one because this collar is detachable and you don't you could wear the cardigan by itself without this collar or you could wear the whole thing together um, if you know how to style things then you could definitely um, wear this and rock this but the skirt is cute it's got felt loops it's got this um, abstract graphic colorful print and the cardigan is the same way at least the collar is so you could wear these together or separate so the next piece um, which I've had a couple of these type blouses um, this one is a little bit different this one is very sheer um, so you could wear it with or without um, undergarments well I almost said without undergarments you know like still wear you want to wear a bra um but maybe not so much like you don't you don't have to wear like a tank or anything like that because there's enough pattern on this blouse um if you have a black bra on then it's not really gonna look you know too crazy so it's just got I think I buttoned that one Anyway, it's just got this um, hidden panel button situation going on here. It has a lot of different colors. And then around the top here, it has a black and gold roped um, detail on it. Okay. okay, so last time I mentioned in the previous video, I mentioned that it's hard for me to find bottoms. I had maybe two bottoms in that video. Um, I have a few more, maybe what, four more in this one. No, not four more. I have four <laughs> in this one. Um, I was able to come across a few more bottoms. And I don't know what it is with me when I go out and I'm curating. Um, I'm just not able to find bottoms like that. So like I said, when I come across them, I grab them because it's just hard for me to come across ones that are in really good condition. So I got these really cute, really colorful, high-waisted silk shorts. Okay, I love these. And these would even look cute with this denim shirt that I have on. So it's got like a zigzag pattern. I love the colors in this. And then if you're self-conscious about like short, short shorts, these are perfect because they hit like right above, by the time you, you know, have wear them um, high waist, they hit like right at your knee or right above your knee. So they're really cute. And then they're not tight. They're not tight, so you don't have to worry about anything riding up or anything. Okay, I'm smiling because I really like these pants. And honestly, if they were my size, I would have kept them, but they are a medium. And these kind of do fit, I would say they fit true to size, but they're like these, I don't like these hammer pants. They're hammer pants, but then they have this, I mean, the pattern is awesome. I love this pattern. And these are high waist as well. See y'all, uh, y'all would not have seen these if these fit me or I would have been wearing them in a video. These are super cute. <clears throat> okay, so in the last video, I had a denim skirt that had buttons all the way down. I love those types of skirts. And this one is not a denim skirt but it is this yellow floral skirt. Very cute. Um, I would say the tag, the, yeah, the tag on here says a 14, 
but I would say this could fit more of a 16, um, maybe even an 18, just because of the skirt is one of those like full skirts, so it's not tight to the body. And then the waist is there's it, there it's not any stretch on it, but it's a big enough waist to where it could be about an 18. Which I, you could wear this the same way I rocked the other one with the little tank, the Thug Life tank. So I really like this. Okay. And last for the skirts, I have this one that just has like almost like these thumbprint, colorful thumbprints on it. it doesn't really look like thumbprints, but that just reminds me of you dipping your hand in paint and just going like that but they're just strategically placed. Nice royal blue skirt. Be cute with just about anything, really a blazer, tank, anything like that. Okay, so we're pretty much done. I have a blouse that I absolutely love, and then another blouse that I absolutely love, and another blouse that I, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, um, okay, so, I know y'all probably like, come on. What's going on out there? <laughs> okay, so this is a simple black blouse, but not too simple, okay? The detail comes in into the collar, which is beaded and sequined and stitched. I mean, they went ahead and put every design just in the collar and just right here. Like they put everything in those two small areas. It's not without a few flaws, but you can't really see it. Like there, there's maybe like one bead missing in the back. And then the sequins have like a little bit rubbed off on them, but the shirt still looks awesome. Um, it buttons down, it has like the hidden, hidden panel button down, um, wear it straight button down, tie it up, you know how you can do these button downs, but I love the shirt shirt. Okay, so this one, I love too. I love everything up here, like I don't get anything that I myself don't love. Um, when I go to the stores, I try to shop in the mind of what I love, okay? So, and I try to shop for, okay, would, would somebody love this? So, but mainly I'm just thinking of, um, I'm just thinking of myself when I'm out there shopping. No, I'm just kidding. I'm thinking of you guys, because I love you guys. Um, but anyway, so this top is another black button down, but in the front it has, Almost, it has like the whole garden right here in the front. It has like the whole garden right here in the front of the blouse. And I would definitely tie this one up in the front and wear it with like some shorts or some jeans. Very cute. Okay, so this is a beautiful dress. Okay, this is a beautiful dress, a beautiful silk dress. Um, it has like these blue sapphires all over it. I have one other piece by this designer, uh, Louis Farag, and I think, don't get me wrong, but y'all don't come for me, but I think it's an Italian, I think it's an Italian designer. Um, but it's like the perfect 80s dress. It's like gathered right here in the front, the little Roosh detailing, it's got the shoulder pads. It is a beautiful dress. Like you can wear this anywhere, wear it to, you know, some type of event, if it's your birthday or whatever. Awesome. <clears throat> the last dress that I got has a lot going on, but I couldn't pass it up. Um, it's like that Hawaiian print. It's for definitely for our small smaller size girls, um, so I will not be able to try this one on, but it has a wrap front to it, and it's got 
like the what is it? It has like the comic strip stuff going on in it and with the Hawaiian pattern on it. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, I got a few purses that could be doubled as clutches. Um, the first one is this like wavy pattern. I believe it is leather. I believe it's leather. Don't quote me on that though. But you could wear it either like this or you could do it, you know, just folding the straps of the clutch. And same thing with this one. Like that typical baby bag just goes exactly with what I'm wearing. Um, it just has like this little wavy thing going on here. And you could do this as a clutch as well, folding the strap and maybe just, you know, hold it like that, which is probably how I would rock it. And I got several belts, but I'll just show you like the two main ones. The others will be on the site. Um, it's really easy to pick up belts because um, they have a lot of them when you go to the stores. Um, but I thought this one was really cute, really unique. <clears throat> it's a red leather belt. Red leather belt with these um, gold swirls on it, for lack of a better word. Um, and then this other one is almost like this dynasty situation going on here. But it's got silver, bronze, and gold, and it's kind of like asymmetrical kind of, so you would wear it more to the side rather than right in the middle. But I guess you could wear it in the middle if you want. It's a Velcro back, and then it has like a little hook on it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to see more items at one time, I could probably do like 30 items at one time, but I try to keep it down so the video isn't so long. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, as I mentioned in the other video, I have a blog coming, so check me out on that. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the notification bell if you want to keep up with me. Um, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.